Amy, can you tell me a little bit specifically about Meredith's journey throughout this season as a mom and as somebody who's dealing with a teenage daughter and all these other things that are sort of going on? Sure. Um, <clears throat> I really think Meredith is, is starting to see signs in her daughter that she's not a little girl anymore that she's really starting to become a woman and as any parent, let alone a single parent, would feel, I think she's debating whether or not she needs to intervene and grasp a little more or, or pull back and finding the grace with which she does that I think has been the, the journey so far in this first 10 episodes Got it. and probably will remain so while Chloe is growing. Right. So Chloe and Meredith have a, a warm relationship despite this adolescent angst that's sort of rearing its head and, and Jasmine and Valentina have a really straightforward, you know, very directed relationship. How do you sort of feel like those two households juxtapose towards one another and sort of the message that they're delivering in terms mm. of these two young girls growing up in different households? It seems as though Valentina has placed a huge amount of expectations on her daughter um, that need to be placed there because of the circumstance uh, they find themselves in being a, a, of a different race really mm -hmm. of people and and the secret they need to keep and so the intensity in their life is is really quite extreme and I see the relationship between Meredith and Chloe as being um, one that is based on their their desperate need for each other's protection and nourishment and and love I mean they have each other they only have each other and in that way they mirror the the Valentina uh, relationship but it's um what was the third part of the question I think yeah. I addressed the first two I think that that I think you succinctly sort of sort of got you know what it is but um, let me sort of move on a little bit and and maybe tell me a little bit about we know that Chloe has been emailing with her father mm -hmm. which Meredith doesn't know about are we going to start to reveal some of the things that Meredith does know and um, get a little bit more of the backstory yes um, there will be a slow reveal okay I hope because I think that's what what makes great television is keeping that line of tension strong mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I suspect, although I have no idea as an actress, I haven't read the future scripts, I suspect Meredith will, does know probably a little bit more than she's letting on. Um, and we will slowly begin to put the picture together of who Chloe's father is, I suspect. Again, just to guess, um, every week we get the script, we are just as surprised as, uh, as the viewers are when we learn the information. It's really thrilling for us. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, last question. Can you tell me, you guys are shooting the finale right now, can you give us any little hints about what it was like for you to read that script the first time and sort of maybe something that might happen or what we can look forward to? Um, well, we can call it the finale, but I prefer to call it the middle of the first season. Um, and, and with many cliffhangers that would be, would be evident in a finale. Um, it was very exciting the day that the script came out, and I know um, people kept saying, have you read it, have you read it, have you read it, have you read it yet? And we were all still at work, and normally I wait until I'm done with work to go home and read the script, but it was so exciting for people that we started reading it early and while we were working on other scenes. And um, I was surprised by the, by the ending, and there's, there's, there's a lot of great uh, cliffhangers in there, so I, I think people will really enjoy it. Awesome. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Amy. Appreciate Thank it. You.